Hi everyone, this is Bowin, and we are going to work on this integration question that many students have been asking me. We are going to look at what are the things that you look out for when you are dealing with an integration question. We are going to look at how we apply a double angle formula to manipulate this integration uh, function into something where we can apply the integration by parts method solve for our integral. Alright, so without further ado, let us move ahead and get started. Whenever we are dealing with an uh, integration question, uh, it's good for us to analyze the function for three things. First being the number of terms involved. Uh, we hope that it's lesser the easier it is. And then second, are these terms a function of the unknown that you're integrating? Which means that if your integration was with respect to x, does these terms have x within it and lastly what's separating each of these terms is it a plus minus times or divide by doing so you are actually able to identify what is the best method for you to apply to this integration question and solve it at the shortest possible time all right and the methods that are likely would be first the basic rules of integration second the substitution method third integration by part or fourth which is partial fraction uh, decomposition so let's analyze our integration function here for the number of terms we are looking at x sine x and cosine x which is a total of three terms and since we are integrating this with respect to x and uh, each of them each of these terms actually have and x within them so we are looking at three functions of x which we call them f of x g of x and h of x last but not least what's in between each of them not seeing any plus or minus we would know that it is a multiplication of each of these function of x when we are looking at a product of multiple functions of x the methods that we can use to solve narrow it down to either substitution or integration by parts. In order for us to use these methods, one of the requirements is that we only have a product of two functions of x, which you can see that in our current situation, this function over here, we actually have three functions of x. All right, so we are not able to use it as of moment. And that hints us that we have to, to manipulate this function in order for us to make the methods workable. So some ways for us to consider in manipulating this would be to either remove one of the functions of x so that we have two functions of x left, or we can also look into combining any of these two functions of x uh, in order to give us two functions of x at the end thereby allowing us to use substitution or integration by parts. I will choose to take the second option of combining two functions of x into one. And that is primarily due to the fact that I observed that the double angle formula sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x appears to have something that is uh, resembling what we have in our function. As you can see, sine x cosine x over here actually resembles sine x cosine x which is found in the double angle formula all right, for sine 2x. This allows us to actually manipulate this equation and give us half sine 2x. So sine x cosine x actually is equivalent to half sine 2x. Now, this has effectively helped us take two functions of x and combine it into one function of x. Let me give you a clearer picture of what's going on by rewriting this entire function. Now, we have an integration of x multiplied by, now instead of using sine x cosine x, we can replace it with uh, half sine 2x. All right? And let's 
bring out the half in order to have a easier integration function. All right. Now this is what we have, where we have an integration function that is only made up of two functions of x, thereby allowing us to use the substitution or integration by parts method. As many of you have been asking me regarding integration by parts, so I will be focusing on using integration by parts to solve the question that we have here. And let me first write down the formula of uh, integration by parts for easier reference. When we integrate u v prime, it will be equals to u v minus an integration of v multiplied by du integrated with respect to x. All right, so let's run through this formula. Now u here represents u of x, which is a function of x, while v is actually the first order derivative of v of x. All right, so for the left side, you have a u of x multiplied by the first order a derivative of v of x. Now, while on the right hand side, you will take notice of this v over here, which is actually the v of x, which we are talking about here. And also, you have a first order differentiation of u of x. So it's actually u prime x over here. Now, applying our formula to our question, we will see, be able to see that x is u while sine 2x is v prime. So the left hand side of this formula is right now represented by x and sine 2x. Before we move on to work on the integration, it will be ideal for us to first work out what is v as well as u prime, which is required on the right hand side of this formula. For v, we can work it out by using an integration of v prime with respect to x. And that would mean that we are integrating sine 2x with respect to x, giving us negative half cosine 2x. While u prime can be worked out by differentiating x, which would give us 1. I'll now proceed to finish up the in integration. And what we will get is half, and this integration of x sine to x with respect to x will be replaced by uv minus integration of v multiplied by du, and the integration is with respect to x. That would give us u which is x multiplied by v which is negative half cosine 2x followed by subtracting an integration of v which is again negative half cosine 2x multiplied by du which is 1 and this is integrated with respect to x. Moving on from there, on the next step, we will have to rearrange our terms to make it clearer for ourselves. So I'll have a negative half x cosine 2x, followed by, I will remove this negative half from this function and place it on the outside. And that would give us a positive half integration of cosine 2x with respect to x. And ring this up, what we will get, it's again, repeat negative half cosine 2x, followed by the integration of cosine 2x would give us a half sine 2x. And let's fully expand this. We would have negative 1 quarter x 
cosine 2x plus 1 over 8 sine 2x. To provide uniformity in our answers, we are able to further use the double angle formula cosine 2x equals to 1 minus 2 sine square x to break down our cosine 2x over here. So this would give us the following. Multiplied by 1 minus 2 sine where x followed by our 1 over 8 sine 2x and from here we can expand and rearrange the term to give us a half x sine square x minus 1 quarter x plus 1 8 sine 2x and that should be it. Add in a plus c as it is a indefinite integration. All right, looks like we are done with this question. Now, if you have any doubts, please feel free to drop me a message under the comment section and do look out for more videos that's coming up. Uh, I'll be posting it on the Facebook group right here and also on our newly created YouTube channel. So for now, keep your questions coming in. I will see you on the next video.